Facebook. What's up, guys? Happy Sunday. Um, got one of my little protégés, Alex. Uh, he is one of my students, man. Alex has been uh, under my leadership for a couple years now. Uh, 25 years old out of West Virginia. He's about to get ready to come on. Uh, we was talking earlier. We was talking earlier. He's actually on a job. And uh, he was telling me, he said, Courtney, man, I did not want to call you on a Sunday. But I knew, he said, I knew from my experience with you um, that you was going to pick up the phone. And I did, you know. Um, so, guys, again, just want to introduce you to my guy, Alex. He just got through putting down his first coat. So, me and him said, let's go live, man. And um, I, I'm just, again, as you guys know me, man, love helping people, uh, love being in this, in this position that God has blessed me to be in, um, giving so much encouragement, motivation, inspiration, and just taking people under my wing um, they have been following me uh, throughout my journey into their journey. And uh, it's a great feeling, man. So uh, I'm going to let Alex come on uh, again. Happy. There he is right there. Hold on. Here you come. All right. This is Alex, 25 years old, um, a, a owner, uh, not a uh, owner of a company, of his company. Let, it, let, you, let him introduce. There he is. What's up, Alex? Can you hear me all right? Yeah, I can hear you. Awesome, awesome. Hey, brother, nice to have you on, man. Let me let me see them floors right quick. Let me take a little peek okay. right quick. Happy to be here, man. Let me flip the camera. Oh, trying right yeah. Now, but... Oh, that's going to come out great. Yeah, they had like a cherry, kind of like a red stain down. And uh, it was a pre-finished floor, and it was a little worn out. And... Uh, they just wanted to change it up. They wanted to go darker. And uh, so, yeah, it was my first go with it. I'm pretty happy with the results, though. Awesome, brother. Well, thank you for having me on, Alex. Again, this is my personal page. And, um, again, you've been under my leadership for quite a few years. And I thank you so much. Uh, I mean, a lot of you guys who have allowed me uh, to be a part of your journey, man. And uh, one thing I will say about you, Alex, is you're ambitious. You, I can just tell that you're hungry. 25 years old, right? Yeah, I started my company when I was um, when I was 22, about to turn 23. So it's been uh, a little over two years now. It was, uh, yeah, it'll be three years in September. Man, that's so, awesome, uh, bro. I started, here's actually my truck. I'm two hours away from my, where my uh, actual location is. But um I'm up here at my girlfriend's parents. That's why I was doing their floors. But yeah, I started with carpet cleaning. And man, I got into, um, went from carpet cleaning and then got into um, uh, rug washing. And then I saw you all over the place on social media. So I got into the wood floor maintenance. And uh, I ran into an issue one time with the floor. And where I'm at, there's not many refinishers. And there's not somebody, like I know you, you can just call somebody and bam, they're on it. Well, with me, you know, I don't want to have somebody stuck with a floor that's been screened and then, you know, furniture's out of the way and everything for a week or two. So I was like, I better learn how to do some sanding as well. And um, so, yeah, now i am got equipment for that. And uh, here we are. Well, man, that's awesome. Actually, you actually drove from West Virginia down to Georgia twice. Yeah. 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 You came down to do your initial ride along and then you came down again for Reggie's class right. and then you came out and uh, hanged out with me again. So, again, man, I just want to say the importance of this uh, video is the um, it's something that you told me earlier that I think a lot of us need to hear because I'm actually a student myself, believe it or not. Uh, I, I just value education and mentorship so much. And something that you told me earlier, you called me, you said, Courtney, I hate to call you on a Sunday, but I need your help. And you said, I knew yeah. you was going to answer. Dude, I mean, I tell you what, there's, I know you're going to answer. And I told you, I remember when I called you, I think it was probably about a year or so that I joined the private group. And I called you and I said, man, if I do this, I said, you know, after the class, can I still call you? Like, because that's important to me. I said, when I do a class, I like to know that down the road, I, you know, I can get a hold of you if I'm in trouble or something. And you said, absolutely. And man, you held your word. And, you know, I tell you every time I call you, I said, man, I'm so, I'm so thankful that you answered the phone. I mean, I, there's a lot of times where like today, for example, I mean, this was a Santa refinish, but I called you cause I knew you'd probably know. And, you know, it saved me at the end of the job from having to start over who knows where. 
And uh, man, that's just, there's no value or there's no, that's, that's, you can't put a price on that. Like just having somebody that you can call like that, man, dude, it's, it's a game changer. And shout out to um, Cam Mayville, you know, you know, that's a whole different industry. That's rug washing, but you know, he's like that as well. When I call him and I, I'm in trouble with something, man, he's right there. He answers my call. So Yep, Cam, Can't that's my buddy, man. Me and Asher Cam have teamed up last year to do the rug clean the hardwood floor class uh, in Omaha. So we're actually going to do it again this year. It's fun, amazing, good guy, Cam. I, I'm so grateful for the opportunity that he created for me and him. Um, but, yeah, Alex, just like you say, bro, um, just having people that you can call on when you need them. And I think, mm -hmm. you know, um, some of us do understand it. We do value it. A lot of us don't. But like I said, I've been there. And this is why I do it, you know, because – I understand when you're out there by yourself and you're on real jobs and you're in someone's home and you run into an issue, um, it, it's just a, such a great feeling to have someone that you can call and, like you say, they pick up. And I hear this so much, man, from guys that say, Courtney, thank you so much, man, because I, I paid for this. I paid for a class. I paid for mentorship. And, they, they, you know, they're not responsive. They don't pick up the phone. And, you know, I've actually had members say, Courtney, I know you're on vacation <laughs> You know, because I, I post on uh, social media, but man, yeah. I just I just needed your help, and that, and that's and that's what it's about, man. Because um, something that really made me feel good about doing what I do is my own wife told me that, because my wife is in real estate, and she even told me she said, you know what. I, I I really wish I had a coach like you in in real estate because she said you know she goes to these these seminars and she takes these classes, but like she said, once the class is done, there is right. you know it's like right. There's That's no one to reach out to. Yeah. So yeah. this is why I continue to do it, man, because I know that at the end of the day, after these classes and after seminars, and you're still going to run into real life issues. And, and, and it's so valuable to have someone there for you when you need them. Absolutely, man. And like, you can only learn so much in two days. Alex, right? your, fo Alex, your phone went low. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me? Alex, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was saying, uh, you know, there's only so much you can learn in two days. So I will say if, in, if there's anybody out there that's contemplating getting into wood floors and, you know, contemplating doing, you know, your class or, you know, joining your groups and something like, I don't know who else does it, John, Don or whoever, it's not even an, it's not even an option. They got to choose you because you don't, it's not like, you know, with John Don, there's nobody that that's a huge company, you know, after the class is over, who do you call? So, you know, <sighs> join, join Courtney's group. That's all I got to say. Yes, that's sir. You got to say, no, so, man, again, it, it, it's just not, you know, I tell people, man, it's just not even kind of under my leadership, um, uh, depending on your needs. Um, but I will tell anybody this, get under someone's leadership okay um no, you know depending on what you know if you're in pressure washing or if you're in carpet cleaning uh find somebody that can mentor you and you can get under the right leadership and, and i tell guys all the time even if you don't choose me for whatever reason i understand but find somebody because there's nothing more valuable like you said man that goes past just a class or a convention but it's the continuous it's the continuous support that you get and that's what a lot of us don't value man and um like me even myself i have life coach you know i have uh, i'm taking a speak a speaking engagement um course right now um that class is six months and my mentor has actually offered ongoing um mentorship after the class is done so we have five more months left um because that's my you know future is um mentorship um and also public speaking so i found someone that uh could lead me to where i want to be in my journey and like i said even with just me being in this position to help lead guys like you this is what the any industry needs and uh i just thank you guys man especially guys like you i mean man like 25 years old out there just doing your thing man and like i say just hungry just hungry and i just acknowledge that so much and i think even yourself a lot of people no matter what age they are can even look at you as a good example of, of a young entrepreneur who is just so damn hungry yeah man and you know I'm, i want to work on expanding and, and growing as well 
So, um, you know, I know you that the mind shifters, the new uh, group you have too. Like, I want to get in on that just because, you know, little pointers and tips and things here from other people that goes a long way. You know, not just talking about wood floors, just everything. So. You know, you can always, like you said, you're even learning, man. You're always, you know, being open-minded and, and listening to people and, you know, you know, listening to their opinion or what they have to say and and just going from there, growing with, you know, being, like I said, just being open-minded because, um, yeah, I want to keep growing and expanding. Well, that's, so. that's good, man. Well, we'll be glad to have you. Like I said, man, uh, me, uh, John Braun, but Steve Tobrin, I mean, this guy had just has a remarkable story. Uh, Steve has been teaching, you know, a lot of individuals in our industry for over 30 years. I'm 42, so that means he's been teaching people since I was 12 years old in middle school. And I've seen a lot of people, um, even Cam, you know, you, you, one of your coaches, Cam, was under Steve's teaching. I was talking to Cam about three weeks ago, and he said, yeah, Courtney, Steve was my coach, you know, once upon a time. Um, but Steve man he is just like just a pioneer in our industry and if it's anybody that can lead this industry um it's him you know but i also thank him so much for even believing in me and you know considering me you know a future leader in this industry because you know steve is retired but he just he he just wants to continue to uh support my vision and and, and continue to help the industry and uh you know he sold his business i think he said about 30 years ago in a town of 30,000 people, okay, for $1.5 million. And he said, Courtney, ever since then, I've, I've been retired and I just teach and I just coach. And um, so that's just even for myself learning from him because we're going to do a segment on, in, in, the, in the Mindset Shifters group called Scale to Sell because uh, that's what a lot of us dream to build our business, scale the business, and then get to a point where you can sell the business. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm excited to join it. Do any of those guys um, have experience with uh, duct cleaning as well? Duct cleaning? I don't think so. John was a carpet cleaner. I think Steve, all he did mainly was carpet cleaning. But, you know, there are some good people out there. You know, you could probably reach out to uh, Ron Packy. I actually talked to Ron about three days ago, um, you know, see how he can help you with the air duct cleaning. I, I did air duct cleaning, but it wasn't like the the, the industry, I, you know, the industry standard. Um, but I did it maybe for a couple of years when I first started. It just wasn't to my liking. Plus, I didn't like get, getting on ladders. So, like, for example, if you look at my house, like here in Georgia, a lot of vents are in the walls so you have to get on the ladders you know depending on what type of system you use i'm not getting on no ladder all right yeah no i'm luckily here it's mostly floor vents and floor vents yeah i was going to ask you that because that's how it is like my wife is from detroit so a lot of homes the vents are in the floor because they have uh like uh they uh they uh like underground basements yeah 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 we got a lot of basements and crawl spaces so so there's not, not oh there's too. ryan oh ryan kettering man okay ryan he said don't need a coach for technicals really just a class i think he's just talking about the technical side of the uh industry or any any part hmm. and that's a very that's a very um uh, smart guy right there also i want to say sh shout out to uh matt uh matt mueller oh uh, matt mueller yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my guy, man. I actually uh, messaged him early. He's he's up in the woods somewhere <laughs> um, with his kids. But yeah, that, he's again one of my students, man, up there in uh, uh, yeah Washington State. Yeah, I met him in your class. I mean, he's far he's far from me. Um, you know, I'm in West Virginia, so we're a long ways away. But man, you know, I know I met him in your class, and I know he did the sanding class too. And uh, last Saturday. See, last, I came up here last weekend to sand it all down and stuff because it's almost a 1,000 square feet. So it was a lot of work for, you know, one person. So I had to come back this weekend to finish it and everything. And, um, uh, man, man, I called him on a Saturday or texted him or called him. I can't remember. But he ended up calling me after, too, and we talked for a while, and he, like, you know, was helping me out. And I just want to say shout-out to him, man. He's a hell of a guy. I mean, he didn't have yeah, to do Matt, that Saturday yeah, night. Matt was at actually one of my first students uh, followed me on you know cleaners connect he was actually my first students when i started my private group uh three years ago um on the request of guys you know in cleaners connect and he came out did his ride along and what's funny is um he has a buddy that joined my private group named greg johnson 
and they both are in the same area and now they actually start networking and, and do a lot of jobs together yeah i see them posting a lot like doing sanding jobs together and stuff. yes yeah that's all awesome. and that's a good thing about networking man and, and you know um like i said even with the classes you know like for example me and cam we did our classes last year we had uh we had a few guys that met in that class and look literally in the same town and, and did not even know it until they came to that class huh yeah yeah dude i tell you like joining all these groups and and meeting with everybody and having these connections man it's it's been helpful nice it's been extremely helpful it's actually helped me really grow this business because i would have never gotten into wood floors really at, you know like i am if it went for you know coming across you um in these groups and and everything else so it's really helped grow because man you know it's it's good i feel like you got to do it at the right rate but you know it's good having multiple different services because you get into one home and say you do a screen of rico but then you leave them a brochure or something with all your other services when if you do a good job then you're in there for everything else you do so but, but yeah it's just can't thank you enough courtney can't thank you enough for everything well, thank you, brother, for allow allowing me to be part of your journey and I'll continue to work with you in the future. All right, Alex, let me get one more peek at those floors, man, <laughs> before you uh, go off. So they were. Oh, yeah, it's coming out good. And what sheen did they go? Is that a satin or a matte? Oh, uh, that's the satin. Yep, satin. Yep. Yep. Uh, that's one of my favorite scenes, uh, satin. I don't, you know what? I don't even do gloss off subject. I don't even offer gloss anymore. Uh, I don't go past okay. in my gloss. Yeah, I remember you telling me that it just shows too much, or people yeah. scratch, or something like that. Yes, sir. sir. Cool. Well, Alex, brother, thank you again for coming on and uh, uh, sharing us with your experience, with your time. I greatly appreciate it, and I continue to uh, work with you and grow with you in the uh, mindset shifters group with not only myself but Steve Tobrin, John Braun, and just gonna um, continue to just change lives, continue to improve ourselves. And, uh, man, just uh, enjoy life doing what we do. All right, Alex, well, brother, I'm not going to hold you up. Tell your dad I said what's up, and I'll see you soon. All right, All right man. Appreciate you, Courtney. Later, you guys. You too, bro.